the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. So much more going on in this world that that prove Come on, that yeah. there's deception going on in this world. I mean, how could you have so much food that you're destroying it, that you're paying farmers not to farm, yeah. and there's people starving? Yeah, yeah. How could you give billions of dollars of aid to other countries because they have natural resources that you want and have homeless folks right here. And you know How what? can you accuse another country of atrocities when there is atrocities being done right in your backyard? Right in your backyard. You try and push democracy when you can't even stand up to the criteria that democ democracy requires. Oh yeah, come on. Uh, we can we can just and, and I'm not just talking about the United States. I'm talking about countries. Yes, sir. They have they have bad behavior. Exactly. So so forget politics. Yes, sir. That that that's the word politics should be you know equal to corruption. What and and I and I think it, it spills into when you talk about religion. Same thing is how do well, you justify no connection from the from one to the other yeah you know that was the problem with with uh Brad, with you yeah. yeah yeah because it became politics yes sir it became politics this was not set up god did not set this this up for it to be one man is greater than another nope but we you didn't even want that to be a part of the lives of these people it was the people that asked for that yeah yeah you know they wanted a king they wanted to be like these other nations right and then, but it, <laughs> no this is the point i'm saying is because they seem to be have the same hand religion and politics let's go religion all right like you said switch, switch to it their religion was so set up, whatever you call it, political, how you want to call it, that when the blind man, when the man, the man was born blind, and, and, and he sat there and he said, this is a marvelous thing. You said, why, why, are we, why are we debating here? This is a marvelous thing that has happened. You know why? Because it was marvelous to him, but it didn't meet their criteria because it wasn't marvelous to them. What they call what they call Jesus a sinner. They remember that? Yeah. They, we know. We this man is a sinner. How 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 did he open your eyes? And the man yeah. said, When did you ever hear a sinner open the eyes of a blind man? Yeah. It was born blind. When, when did you hear that? This is and they called him. Did you remember in the end they called him you all together? Look at that. Now, as if they weren't. You all together born in sin teaches us yeah or counsel us you 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 don't see you're not you're not qualified to to teach us so they kicked them out yeah that's what I'm not happening today that's, that's happening today you will have a child of God born by believing in Jesus Christ and accepting him as his Lord and Savior, believing that he was raised from the dead on the third day by God. By God. And that individual will minister to somebody and will be rejected like, who are you to minister to me? You just got saved. Yeah. saved. So now they're looking at the outward appearance of this individual instead of looking at the God that is in this individual individual, and listening to the words that are coming out of their mouth 
and trying them against the spirit that's within them. Come on. So, you know, it's nothing that is not done, that is not, you know, in the old, that is not still happening. There's nothing new not under the sun, as the Bible says. Exactly. So it's just, it just changes its outward appearance. That's all. It does, right. The spirit of everything is the exact same. Yes, sir. You know, you, you, you can't, I couldn't go and tell somebody who is a pastor over some church with all these members, they don't even have to have a lot, uh -huh. something about God and that person receives it as words of truth and words from God. Uh -huh. They will see me as a man. <laughs> I would have been such. Yeah. So the the spirit that is connected to that message won't be received. Uh -uh. And it could be something that will save their very life or put them on a path that God would have them intended to do. It'd be something that they've overseen, overstock, yeah. yeah. not recognized. It could be a revelation that God has for them based on his word that is right there in the word of God. Yes. That they cannot even recognize on them on their own. It's just so much of this being done. Yes. Even Everyone who gets into these positions of of so-called honor and, and authority positions seem to think that they're above. Uh-huh. In all actualities, they are the servants. They are. And, you know, it's funny. And, and then, then don't forget the people that's falling into them. They're like, oh, you, I, I don't recognize you, but I recognize this person. Yeah. You know, because that person obviously got, they, they are anointed. They, they're touched by God. And, but you, I, I'm not recognizing your authority. I'm not recognizing your anointing. And don't write. And look, here's a problem. They're not understanding. It's not you anyway, like you're saying. It is the spirit in you, the Holy yeah. Spirit, that's both bearing witness to them, because the Holy Spirit's probably talking to them anyway, right? Yeah. And yeah. He said, most likely. Yeah. All you're doing is like a. All of us have been confirmation to somebody what God is talking to that person about. Mm. And that's why we want to sit there and understand. That's why we have a ministry of reconciliation. And we got to understand it's the Holy Spirit that, that matters. When you speak word, and I'm talking about speak the word of God, then anything outside the word of God, that's you. That's That may be the concern. But anything mm. that lines up with the word of God, that is God talking. And he's using you or anybody else as or is that called Oracle of God? Isn't that called the the, the Oracle of God? Mm -hmm. That's what you are when you speak in His Word. But when you start speaking, let's stone them, let's hate them, let's not reconcile them because that's what your ministry is, right? Ministry is reconciliation. But if my ministry is death, division. Discord, that's not of God. And that's what he's trying to tell us. We had to learn to love one another. And here's the one I want to throw at you. And then we can, we can, we can wrap it close to it with this one. Look at this. I think this is the biggest, you know, we focus on some minor physical things, um, technical technicalities and stuff. <laughs> but you know, the biggest issue in church is forgiveness unforgiveness isn't it oh yeah it's, in well, it's 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 it is tough i think it's it's above that because we tend to put a criteria on what someone needs to do to receive forgiveness. <laughs> yes. Isn't that, ain't, ain't that something? Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that is, that is, it makes no sense. 
what what did God put on us for him to forgive us? <laughs> he did. You know, what criteria did he do other than for us to believe? <laughs> hey, but let, let's say, let's say the act he did first. He did it before you believe. Yeah. Yeah. He demonstrated love before you loved him. And yet we have a problem with it. And we love to do these things. This this goes for this one right here, Matthew 6, uh, verse 5. We're going to go from 5 to 15. So first we're going to talk about what, what we shouldn't do and understand why it's so important not to be seen by man. Then we're going to go into the Lord's Prayer itself. And, and 14 and 15 is about the forgiving one another. So check it out. What do what you get from the first one there, brother? <laughs> and when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. Uh -huh. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the street. But they want you that to... they may be seen of men. Yes! That's what they want. That's what they want. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. There you go. You got your reward. You've been saved by people. But thou, when thou prayest, uh -huh. enter into thy closet. Yes. And when thou hast shut thy door, yes, sir. pray to thy father, which is in secret. Yes, sir. And thy father, which seeth in secret, shall the reward thee open. That God did the order. Come on, man. Come on. But when you pray. Uh huh. Use not vain repetition. Uh -huh. The heathen do. Uh -huh. They think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. You know what? And they will be heard, but not by God. <laughs> yeah. But not ye therefore like unto them. Uh -huh. Your father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. And that's critical, isn't it? By faith, right? The fact yeah. that he already knows. You don't have to. We try to impress people when it's not about pressing people. Yeah, and and the crazy thing is, it's 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 gotten so warped that people think that they need to know the entire Bible before they can even try and attempt to pray to God. Mm. They think that it's some some form of doctrine to pray yeah. to God. Yeah, what they fail to understand is prayer is nothing more than a conversation with God. With God and get man That's out of all it is. Jesus yeah. went to go pray. Jesus went to go talk to his father. Yes. That's what he went to do. He had a conversation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he said, I don't do yeah. nothing of what he, he not did. only spoke to his father, he heard from his father. Come on now. So when you pray, uh huh. You don't have to have all these lofty words. You don't have to have a, a specific pattern or anything. Have a conversation. Yeah. Yeah. That's your father. Do you do you go into your father's, you know, home? Oh, great father that lives at such and such and such. <laughs> you know, how, how worthy you are of my praise for you. And no, look, you know, God, hey, I'm... <laughs> I'm just so thankful for this morning. I'm thankful that you woke me up. You know, I'm just just hoping to get through this day. You know, during your will. Exactly. If there's anything you need from me, please, please make it known to me. Come I on. just want to be as you would have me to be. Now, if there's something that you desire of me for this day, please let me know through your spirit. I surely want to hear. Yes. And then you have to take time. Uh -uh. Listen. To listen. But you don't want to listen. You don't want to hear. No one wants to take time to listen for a response because we are so much a nation, a world that is instant. Yes. That is like, <coughs> we're, we're a microwave uh, nation now that you got to put it in and it's got to come out hot <laughs> within a minute. Hey, you know, but you know, it's funny. You, 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 you do hear, you do, you got a response. You just don't want to, <laughs> you just yeah. don't want to, you wait for now. I, I heard that because it's, it's an inner thing that's talking to you. And by the fact, yeah. you think about it, 
you he already knew what you're gonna ask before you asked, so you already know yeah. he's already responded to what you're gonna ask. Yeah, you know, there's been so many times when I want to go pray to God about something, and before the thought even finishes <laughs> in, in my mind, he's already answered me like, and I'd be like, Yeah, you know. <laughs> That's the truth. I know, God, I know, I know, you know, but you don't want to listen. Uh -uh. You know, you don't want to hear what he has to say. Uh -huh. And then you want to go to find somebody that's going to agree with you. Yeah. yeah. Now you, you come. Know, a lot of times you make an accusation <laughs> and, 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 and many people want God to fix other folks. But every time I would go to God in that manner, in that fashion, Lord, you know, I pray that you just change their heart and you do this. You know what God tells me? He always tells me about me. Yes. Never about somebody else. And well, you could do this. <laughs> you should do that. Yeah. You could have done this. Yes. You could have done that. That's all I hear from God. It's always because all I hear from God is, is, is to fix, to strengthen, you. to restore, to uplift, to shape me. You. Yes. That's the part. That's why he's trying to say stop. That's why I guess we're really in a roundabout way of saying is when we take ministries of death, of criticism, of putting down, pointing the faults of somebody else, then you know, you know you're not doing the things of God because God is focused on you. And then the people that sit in the congregation and start cheering, when you start pointing at somebody else, I'm sitting there wondering, like, how many of you are without sin? Why are you cheering when you know you probably, some of you just as guilty of what the man is talking about? Yeah. That, that's what I'm trying to say, where we don't want to focus on this. And then we don't, and then other people, like we was talking earlier, you don't want to cover up your sin. And it's obvious sins, and you want to try to make it justifiable. You know, I was sitting there, matter of fact, one of the things I did get a, uh, was concerned about yesterday. Did you see, you don't look at the news much. There was a, another thing that happened in, uh, I guess, Minnesota. You know, you and Brianna that got shot, right? And killed. Cause of, oh, Brianna Taylor, yeah. Yeah, because well, of no knock warrant. Yeah. Right? As if somebody comes to your house and you have a gun, you're not, you you know, they didn't know, they didn't knock, they just came running into your house, that you think your first reaction is to not defend yourself? Because you don't know who, you know what I mean? You don't know who they are, right? When they come in like this. Did you know a man got killed, uh, I guess, uh, I don't know what, how long ago it was, but it's just coming to light now. I guess it was recent. A uh, young man, they had a no-knock warrant. And they, they killed this man who was sound asleep. And when, you know, when they came were coming in and yelling or whatever, he got up and his first reaction, he had a, he had a handgun. Mm -hmm. right? So the first action he was doing was to picking up the handgun. And, and this police officer, one of the police officers, not all of them, shot and killed the man. And say, I only had a, what do you say, look, 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 well, I said, this could have bothered me a little bit. I only had a few seconds to make a decision. Not, not withstanding that person who was asleep, how many seconds did he have? How many seconds did he have? And does he have a right to have a gun? Does yeah. he have a right to defend himself? And they found out that he was not even the person he was looking for. Oh, obviously. But they, 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 he's on administrative leave right now. They just, and they're trying to say where well, he had a gun, but he had a right to have a gun. He even have a license to carry the gun, and you woke him up in the.